Hey guys, it's your favorite medical channel, Medicosis Perfectionalis, containing our playlist called Pulmonology, the series of lecture that's only possible because of a generous guy called Dr. Joe. So, in the previous video, we have talked about acute epiglottitis, the emergency situation, which can occlude the airways leading to asphyxiation. Today, we'll have a mnemonic acute, about acute epiglottitis, and this is a tripod to remember the tripod position of the kid. And let's get started. This is the D mnemonic, so epidemiology, unvaccinated child, defective decision by the parents. I'm trying to be respectful. I'm trying not to say D-U-M-B. Okay, let's keep it clean. Please vaccinate your kids, please. Next, clinical picture, dyspnea or respiratory distress, muffled voice, dysphagia, which is difficulty swallowing, odynophagia, which is painful swallowing, which will lead to drooling because the kid cannot swallow, the saliva will drool. Inspiratory strider, tripod position, airway obstruction will lead to CO2 being detained, when you detain the CO2, you'll end up with respiratory acidosis because CO2 will just combine with water, which is everywhere in your lung because your lungs are nice and moist, leading to the formation of H2CO3, which is carbonic acid. Carbonic acid will give us HCO3 and the nasty H. And H is the acid. It's the ultimate acid. It's the protons. Acute epiglottitis is an emergency that can lead to death. Management. Do not examine the throat. Do not be stupid because you can kill the kid. You can close the airways by your stupid physical exam. Do not give oral fluids for the same freaking reason. The kid cannot swallow. So don't give him something to swallow, idiot. Forgive my language, but you should do a lateral x-ray and you will find distended epiglottis. We call this the thumbprint sign. And also you'll find diminished vellicular space. Because of the enlarged epiglottis, it's, it's decreasing the space underneath. Delight the kid. Be nice and charming. Keep him or her comfortable and quiet because they're trying to breathe carefully. Do not irritate them, you irritable son of a... Dial the anesthesiologist pager, because it's the anesthesiologist's job to secure the airway. If there is no anesthesiologist there, you do it yourself, because it's an emergency, and this is called common sense. Why should I dial the, the anesthesiologist? Why shouldn't I just do it yourself? Because this is an acute inflammation. It's called acute epiglottitis. You'll have redness, hotness, swelling pain and loss of function and it's very hard to even recognize the airway in this red hot mess so leave it to the expert what will the anesthesiologist do drive the airway open by endotracheal intubation or even tracheostomy we try not to do cricothyroidotomy in kids because they need their voice once you have secured the airway, if you're sophisticated and would like to do your physical exam, do it after securing the airway, you'll find a cherry red epiglottis. Redness, hotness, swelling, pain, loss of function. Third generation cephalosporin is your antibiotic of choice because the causative organism is the ugly Haemophilus influenzae B, which happened to be a gram negative. This third generation cephalosporin have a great coverage for gram negative. If you remember your cephalosporins, one is very gram positive. Second generation is uh, gram positive trying to be negative. Three is gram negative and four it's even it's going more negative. Okay, so we go from positive coverage to negative coverage, the higher the generation of the cephalosporin. What else? Dexamethasone, it's a steroid. Why? Because steroids are the most famous, most significant anti-inflammatory drugs known to mankind because they inhibit both the cyclooxygenase pathway and the lipooxygenase pathway. You can give humidified air and, of course, oxygen. Oxygen, oxygen, oxygen. It's an upper airway emergency. Here is everything you need to know about acute epiglottitis in one slide with the famous D mnemonic. I will leave you to read it for three seconds. If this was too much for you, there is the summarized version. 
unvaccinated child, dyspnea, distress, dysphagia, drooling, inspiratory stridor, tripod position, do not examine the throat, drive the airway open via endotracheal intubation or tracheostomy. That's it, baby. Medicine is not that hard once you understand what the flip you're talking about. You're struggling to learn about Legionella, Mycoplasma, Pseudomonas, Rhinovirus, Staph, and Streptin, Haemophilus, Influenza B. Try this website. It's called Picmonic. See the link in the description below. They are awesome. Animated video-like mnemonics. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and join the tribe. Hit the bell to get notified. Follow me on Facebook. I have more than 100 cases there. Please support this channel on Patreon. I'll send you my cases, my notes, and even the slides of this lecture and every other lecture organized in Dropbox folders that are awesome. You can download them and they are yours forever. Thank you for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.